The Iranian military has unveiled a plan to establish five new units dedicated to unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. The proposal was submitted as Tehran continues to deploy drones to bolster its airstrike capabilities. The move is part of structural changes in the army ground force to make it more lethal by increasing the range and accuracy of weapons. According to Army Ground Force Commander Brigadier General Kayamur Zadari, the country's drone base 313 currently houses various UAVs, including cruise and hider drones. He further noted that establishing new drone units would not require any extra forces. Iran has invested millions of dollars in bolstering its air defense capabilities, including the production of surveillance and combat drones. Last year, the country demonstrated its domestically built drones during a large-scale joint drill, Zulfaker 1400. The Arash suicide drone reportedly took out select targets during the exercise. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, also unveiled underground military bases housing high-performance UAVs. According to the IRGC, the bases can be used to launch 60 drones simultaneously at targets up to 2,000 kilometers, 1,242 miles, away. The increased production and deployment of drones in Iran created alarm among defense and security officials in Israel, Tehran's regional archenemy. Iran's UAV program. Iran's conventional air power has been rendered virtually obsolete due to financial impacts and procurement issues caused by sanctions. Investing in UAV technologies and production is therefore a strategic priority for regime leaders, giving Tehran an alternate means for long-range airstrikes. Drones are particularly advantageous as they are cheaper to build and maintain than manned combat aircraft and can have longer flight endurance, greater maneuverability, and lower observability. The dangers posed by Iran's UAV program are amplified by Tehran sharing its advancements with its regional proxies, effectively gifting them with an instant air force. Iran-backed terrorist militias like Hezbollah and the Houthis boast the most active and sophisticated UAV programs among non-state actors, thanks to Iran's success in smuggling drones and components to them as well as training them on their manufacture and operation. The full extent of the Iranian drone threat became clear following the September 2019 attacks on the Abqaiq and Quraysh oil facilities in Saudi Arabia, in which Tehran demonstrated the ability to execute complex, integrated drone swarm and missile attacks. Such tactics can potentially overwhelm even the most sophisticated air defenses, ensuring that the region's most sensitive nuclear, energy, and transportation infrastructure are all vulnerable to attack. It is only a matter of time before Iran shares this know-how with its proxies. Three-pronged approach. To neutralize the Iranian drone threat, analysts at United Against Nuclear Iran, Uani, recommend the US pursue a strategy based on raising the costs of further attacks, investing in counter-drone technologies, and extending the UN arms embargo. First Washington and its allies must prioritize a strategy predicated on the deterrence of further attacks. For all of its regional adventurism, Iran is a risk-averse actor that seeks to avoid direct superpower confrontation. It frequently uses methods that provide plausible deniability, such as cyber or UAV attacks. Iran's greatest fear is a regime destabilizing attack. Therefore, the US and its allies must make clear to Tehran that significant UAV attacks will be met with devastating reprisals and that Iran will also be held accountable for such attacks by its proxies.
Second Washington must invest and work with its allies to develop and deploy low-cost counter-drone solutions. Iran and its proxies have amassed arsenals of rockets, cruise and ballistic missiles, and UAVs, constituting a complex and increasingly precise aerial threat. America and its allies require permanent, 360-degree multi-layered air and missile defenses to protect against the full scope of the Iranian threat and must urgently prioritize boosting short-range air defenses at sensitive sites around the region. The U.S. should further seek to collaborate with Israel on cost-effective counter-drone innovations and ensure that as new technologies emerge, they are shared with other regional partners too. Third, the U.S., France, and Britain must unite on the necessity of the U.N. Security Council renewing the arms embargo on Iran under Resolution 2231. If disunity or the concerted efforts of Russia and China, eager to sell Iran advanced weaponry, allow it to expire on October 18, Tehran will have a freer hand to acquire more powerful and deadly arms and to transfer such weaponry to its proxies without the Security Council's approval.